what happens when your business achieves rapid growth in today's digital economy. You learn to adapt better and stay on top of change. As digital technologies dramatically reshape diverse industries pursuing large-scale change efforts to keep up with the ever-evolving digital first world has become essential. The IT infrastructure of an organization needs to evolve and scale just like the rest of your business. Now, complex challenges follow increased growth. So supporting scalability to provide a solid, secure platform for innovation requires digital transformation to stay ahead of the competition. Well, today, Asia's leading education services company, Career Launcher, had to adapt to the growing demand during the lockdown period. As the operations kept scaling, an insurgence of concurrent connections resulted in massive issues, disrupting the workforce and hindering user experiences. At this point, it became evident that an infrastructural transformation was the need of the hour. This is where Oracle stepped in as a reliable transformation partner. To share this experience with us, we have Sujit Bhattacharya, Chief Innovation Officer at Career Launcher, and Sarvanath, Vice President for Solutions Engineering at Oracle. Now, Sujith has been at the forefront of this transformation, while Palanivel has responded with agility and insights to empower service and innovation for career launchers. So, looking forward to hearing both sides of the equation. So, Sujith, we'll start with you. As your organization evolved, I want to know from you, at what point did you realize the need for better technological intervention? You know, what were the IT infrastructure challenges that you sought to resolve with the new system. Okay, thank you for having me here, Gautam. Uh, uh, I think uh, the biggest challenge which came to us was uh, just, uh, you know, during the pandemic, uh, in the post-pandemic, there was an explosion of the online uh, educational services. And uh, uh, so while there was a huge surge of demand, I think what uh, increasingly, you know, created more complexity for us was the increase in volatility. So, you know, the, the demand which we used to forecast at any point of time, you know, the number of users and, and the growth, etc., even that kind of changed very dramatically. So it became very difficult for us to uh, provision our um, uh, services and particularly you know, the database side is always the most complex. It's, it's the hardest part to kind of scale up or scale down. Uh, and, and that uh, volatility was the reason which uh, kind of uh, created a, uh, you can say, a crisis-like situation, okay? And it's easy to solve these problems uh, by throwing money at it. But if you want to also maintain the cost efficiency, then it becomes even more uh, challenging. So maintaining the responsiveness, scalability, uh, the cost uh, in that volatile environment was, you know, where uh, our challenges started. All right. And any lessons that you would share as you as you came out of that experience? Uh, how did it say change your thinking around these technological interventions to solve problems? I think, uh, you know, the number one is the openness to ideas, because uh, if you're not experimenting and trying out new things, it's easy to kind of remain in your safety or comfort zone, you know, with whatever you're used to. And as a technology person, you know, over so many years, uh, while we are always looking for new solutions, it is also very challenging to try them out because it comes at a great amount of cost, you know, of time and everything else. So uh, when Oracle approached us with this idea, we were, uh, you know, curious, but we were also reticent, you know, we weren't sure, uh, you know, where it'll work and how it'll work and all of those things. So the openness is very important, I think, uh, as, as a, in any leadership position and particularly in technology to be open to new ideas and try them out. And I think that's where we got started at, at looking at, you know, whatever Oracle uh, provided us at that point of time. And Sujit, the, the importance of a partner, especially in this case, as Oracle has provided uh, its services to you and your organization to improve yourself, the importance of the right technological partner, what would you say to that? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, the kind of, uh, you know, I've personally been a, uh, you can say a student and a user of Oracle for like 30 years or more. I've worked on, on the oldest versions uh, till, till the most current. Uh, so that kind of confidence which comes from, you know, when you know you're working with a team and an organization which is dealing with, you know, hundreds and thousands of use cases which are similar to ours and they've, and they've gone through it. 
you know you need that confidence otherwise it's it's, it's just uh, too overwhelming to you know to be able to address such large challenges and that's what we are here to hear more because that confidence which you state sujit at the end of the day that's what is required for companies when they come when it comes to choosing the right technological partners and the right solutions as they scale up exponentially on that note let me come to you sarvan for an enablers <coughs> perspective because oracle has supported enterprises worldwide by solving a variety of organizational challenges with many innovative solutions so i want to bring this case study forward as to how did oracle help career launcher solve its tech related issues and what were the key tech that you recommend Uh, first and foremost thank you thank you so much gautam and thank you sujit for joining us for this fireside chat right let me address this point at oracle we carry decades of engineering excellence in delivering the best technology to our customers and communities uh, if you look at it the overall industry perspective top 10 out of 10 banks runs on oracle top 10 out of 10 telecoms runs on oracle top 10 out of tele- hospitality runs on oracle solution so Uh, i mean uh, while we are pride in saying that at all the same time we also humble to be there on our of the top 10 banks or hospitalities or the telecoms they are running the critical infrastructure or plat- database platform or cloud solutions on oracle right uh, that's a i would say the the engineering excellence we carry forward and with career launcher we we have a similar thing we called as a i mean a typical classic stress on it system due to the business growth as sujit mentioned right uh, when we engaged career launcher as sujit mentioned it was facing an application and the back end database scalability issues right uh, and they were running a competitive cloud platform and then they were doing challenges on the database scaling up due to concurrency and obviously due to the pandemic most more and more students are kind of doing the mock test and they are not able to submit due to which what happens the career launcher's it team getting stressed up to take some overtime to do this job right that's when we said we will help carry launcher we have a open conversation with sujit and propose what we had done in a similar industry a similar customers right how we help them and that kind of kind of made an acceptable solution for sujit and that's where we kind of proposed the oracle autonomous solution here autonomous is all about <clears throat> getting the experience and constant learning put into the place and take remedial action immediately rather than waiting for some manual intervention to take some action on that right uh, that's where this we propose the it autonomous transaction processing system which is basic nothing but a database with completely autonomous operations be it patching or be it scaling be it scale out um or be it a security side of it right uh, and these are all oracle has a i would say i would say four decades of experience put it built into that and that's been embedded as a machine learning algorithm been uh, enabled into the system and that kind of help the carry launcher to solve the database problem or other, i would say address the database problem much much simpler the second aspect of it is the application scalability we use the oracle clouds flexible shape which means you give a <clears throat> you don't not only give a t-shirt size for a given application which means you have either a headroom or you are going with a actual uh, i mean i would say the the actual requirement which means there is no uh, i mean if there's a grow if there's a peak you will end up in uh, spending a lot of time in increase when I mean, increasing the number of volume number of uh, shapes right so the flexible shapes gives you that advantage of you flexible enough to save i mean give you the Right, application requirement and also have a sufficient headroom for the peak and these two put together gives carrier launcher a kind of address the solution not only for the current need but also gives them a, a, a clear clear growth path on the tech tech stack of it the advantage what we could see by doing this two adoption is one the database completely i mean delivers the best performance we could hear from sujit on that at the same time there's a the cost brought down were much lesser compared to the other cloud platform uh, that's the uh, i would say oracle's cloud mantra it is about built for performance at the same time uh, reduce the cost what you spend in the competition or any other cloud providers or even it on prem 
Oh, that's the Hori. Great. In fact, uh, since you mentioned the the two advantages, Sarvan, and maybe you could get Sujit to talk more about the choice of going with an autonomous database and the benefits that it brought. Thank to you, him. Gautam. I think, yeah, thank you, Gautam. I think Sujit. Uh, I would like to hear from you. What made you choose an autonomous database for your requirement, and did you think it was a correct decision at that point in time? Or okay. You? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sarvan, I think uh, to answer that question very simply, uh, <clears throat> we needed a database uh, which could scale up and down with demand because otherwise we were provisioning, over provisioning for our you know database servers and ending up uh, burning a lot of money when it was not required. So the second uh, big problem that we had is even as a mid-sized company, uh, you know, the large banks, the telecom companies, of course, they have the most advanced systems. Uh, but even as a mid-sized company, we still need to worry about business continuity and, and scalability. And uh, that becomes a very expensive proposition because you you need to kind of replicate everything your servers your databases and, and you know you almost double your it costs just trying to create some kind of a, a good continuity uh, solution and i think that became very easy with uh, autonomous and the moment oracle kind of takes charge of you know the provisioning and the scalability and all the back end the patching and everything else that relieves us of the load of having to manage that and then making that happen at a cost which is affordable to us and hence affordable to our customers. In the education industry, you know, we have to be nimble footed, we need to be able to give the service at the same time, you need to be able to make it affordable. Otherwise, you know, the student community is not going to be able to pay for your services. So that is a sweet spot, I think, which uh, Oracle uh, addressed. And uh, once we were over the hump of, you know, actually experimenting and making it work, which, of course, takes a lot of effort. And you know, your team did a lot of work to help us. Uh, brilliantly for that. Uh, but I think once we got over that, then this was uh, a very good decision. And I'm, uh, I'm quite sure this will work out uh, very well for us in the future. Great to hear, Sujit. So now that you're over the hump, where do things stand? Because we also need to assess, you know, as these massive <clears throat> transformations came about, not just in the way enterprises work, but also the interaction between the enterprise and the customer. Where do things stand now in terms of the benefits that this autonomous database is bringing to you? And what are your future plans for Career Launcher? And in that context, how do you think autonomous database integration will help support those plans? Yeah, I think... Uh, um... You know, for any progressive organization today, the adoption of uh, predictive uh, data sciences, uh, predictive learning, you know, this is almost essential for survival, you know, whichever industry you are. And uh, in the education industry, uh, like every other industry, we, we need to be very responsive to customer needs. Today's uh, world, most of the uh, interesting solutions uh, or breakthrough solutions, you know, where we are looking for innovation, which really gives a leg up to us and our customers, usually comes from the implementation of some kind of an AI machine learning uh, solution. And uh, as we know that, you know, data is uh, the leading uh, fuel for, you know, driving any inf uh, innovation of this nature. And I think for that, your plumbing has to be absolutely spot on. So when you have a highly reliable, scalable database like Oracle supporting you, uh, then you can really, you know, build very ambitious plans about how you're going to grow your data lake, you know, what kind of information are you going to mine and what kind of solutions you're going to build. And Oracle, you know, I'm very happy to know that Oracle database already has got uh, machine learning uh, algorithms which are, uh, you know, plugged in and intrinsic to the database. So I think our future plans are going to be about implementing more sophisticated solutions using data science. Uh, techniques and then leveraging Oracle to solve those in a most efficient way. So that's that's the way going forward for us. And we wish you all the best for that, Sujit. And thank you so much for educating our viewers on the possibilities that can be unlocked when reliability and scale come together to drive innovation. On that note, it's time to wrap up this conversation. And well, as one of the leading organizations in the enterprise database and cloud solutions ecosystem, as we've heard, Oracle has helped numerous businesses transform their infrastructure and scale up on the cloud. And of course, by incorporating sophisticated solutions such as say Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Oracle Autonomous Database, Career Launcher, as we saw, achieved exceptional agility and efficiency across their enterprise 
Oracle promptly resolved career launcher's database connection threshold issue and simultaneously delivered a multitude of additional benefits. So for the viewers, you can put a pin on that as a reference point on how organizations can grow when they pair with the right technological partner. I'd like to thank both of our guests for, for being part of this conversation. And of course, thank you to our audience for tuning in. Till next time, this is your host, Gautam Srinivasan, signing off. Have a great day.